Hey everybody, Al here. Just got home yesterday and I already put together part one of the goat hunt we just went on. I'm not going to call it a sheep hunt because we didn't even see a sheep but uh, we only really hunted one day and that was all it took. I want to say one thing, I apologize for how much I complained about the mosquitoes in the video but uh, they were just crazy. You'll hear about it in the video and I apologize for that. I found it kind of annoying while I was editing it. So I'm just putting away my X bed right now and all my gear and I'm going to be getting ready for the next hunt here soon. So if you like, please like and subscribe. Hit the notifications button when part two comes out the following week. Thanks for watching. Hey everyone, Al here from BC Extreme Outdoorsman. Well, we're on our way. We're heading out for the 2021 goat and sheep hunt. We still got another lots of hours of driving. We've been driving since 3 a.m. this morning. Are you ready for this, Rob? You betcha. Yeah, we're about six hours into the drive of uh, 17 plus hours. Yep, and then we'll spend the night when we get there, and uh, tomorrow morning we'll start hiking. We're going to a new, new area this year, uh, mainly primarily for goats, so stay tuned and Take you along the adventure with us. Enjoy. So we just stopped for about the probably the, what the fiftieth time. Yeah. To go to the washroom. What we do, and we've been doing it ever since we started doing this, is we hydrate like crazy on the way up because tomorrow we're going to be hiking, and it, we could be six hours with only one liter of water. It all depends on what creeks we find or melted snow or whatever. So. It seems to work in the past. We drink tons of water. I don't know how many of these have we drank today. Uh, ten each, probably. At, at least ten at least. each, and we still got probably another three hours of driving. Yeah. It's uh, almost four o'clock now, so that's what we do to stay hydrated for the big hike tomorrow. Oh, well, good morning, everybody. Here we are, first day of the hunt. Yes, a little different scenery, huh? Um. Got to go a little ways through here and then we got to head hike up the mountain from here. So it looks like it's going to be a nice day. Hey Rob. Yep. I don't know if I can see you. Rob Safari right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this will be a short go. So yeah, so this is the start of our 2021 goat and sheep hunt. Right now probably better if we had a fishing rod. It'd be nice to see some new country. Yeah, we're doing something see. different this year. Something totally different. Okay, I better get paddling here. Mosquitoes are coming too. <laughs> here we are. I'm about to start our hike. We got the boat out. Uh, we got a trail here. We're gonna head up, and I don't know. I'm guessing three or four hour hike, maybe. I'm not sure. Hopefully. Hopefully. What do you think, Rob? Yeah, the mosquitoes. We oh, yeah. we couldn't find this trail. So we uh, took off up trying to find it, and the mosquitoes we had what over a hundred on oh, us. Oh, it was at ridiculous. This is this is our second. Uh, this is our second shoring. Shoring with the <laughs> boat, but this is it. This is the spot, and we do have company. There's other people here, but what are we supposed to do? Go home. This is a new one. New to us, so yep. so we're gonna finish our power aids, get our gear together, and. See you on the trail. Well, we've been hiking for an hour and stuff like this. I don't know if you can see the mosquitoes, man, but I got bite on top of bite on top of bite. And so does Rob. There's thousands. It's crazy. You, all you hear is buzzing. So I'm pretty sure right now we got to head up there. And, uh, oh man, I'm hoping for Alpine soon, but I think it's going to be another hour or two. So. I want to show you what the mosquitoes were like here. Oh, that's just crazy. Okay, we'll continue on. Well, I'm not sure if you can see this, but just all the mosquitoes that are around us. <laughs> it's pretty bright right now, but there's mosquitoes everywhere. So we're still heading up that way. Yeah, we're going to cross all those windfalls. We just went by under this one. Wasn't much fun. Trail would be good if there wasn't so many windfalls. 
a lot of up and out, downs. And... So, yeah, this is what I look like with my bug net on, but absolutely a must. So I'm going to continue on. I think we're an hour and a bit in. That's it. And I think we're halfway to the Alpine. So, we're going to get going. Well, we're still hiking. It's about 1 o'clock, I think. What time is it? Doesn't your watch tell you what time it is? <laughs> 1. Yeah, it's 1 o'clock. Um, we went since 8 o'clock this morning with just one liter of water. And luckily, we, we were at our wit's end. We just found water now. Right there. So, we're actually just entering the Alpine. I don't know if you can see, but uh, we can head up through there. And head to the top and then to the in the way back and try to find a place to camp. Go right up there somewhere. I think up over there. I don't know if you can see through the trees. Up there. So our packs are well over 60 pounds. Just guzzled about one and a quarter liters of water. In about five minutes. Fill them up again and uh, make our way. Make our way. Find a place to camp. Get out of the. Get into a little bit of wind. We're uh, four hours of mosquitoes. Oh, the mosquitoes have just been <laughs> absolutely horrendous, man. Biting right through your jack, your shirt, and everything. So uh, we're gonna get more water. We're filtering it, of course. Then we're heading, heading to the Alpine. There should be a nice little breeze up there. Keep these mosquitoes away and we can actually sit down out in the open and have a bite to eat. We haven't really eaten much today either. But we want to get out of the mosquitoes another half an hour or so. So that's the plan. Well, we're almost near the top. Here's our view. That's the lake we started at down there. And Hard to see because it's so bright, but we got to head almost straight up there, and hopefully it's flat up there. I don't know. I've never been up there. <laughs> Here's all our stuff. How you feeling? Ah, legs are burning. Tired. The mosquitoes made us push oh. a lot harder than we wanted to. Yes. Oh, oh we need that breeze. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. I'm talking at the top. Hey everyone, Al here. Now well, we just finished an eight hour hike. It was excruciating because it's like 30 plus degrees right here. And as you can see, we got no shade at all. It is, excuse my French, fucking hot. <laughs> I am just done. We got a little lake just down behind us here. So we figured it'd be a good place here to set up camp. So it's gonna be dinner time here. And uh, I don't know what we're gonna do. It's too hot to even go in the tents. We will sit up there and just in the wind and do some glassing. How was your hike today, Rob? Oh, it was, it was difficult. It was uh, the first one. And the mosquitoes, like we've said, were so bad down below that we just kept pushing and pushing and pushing. And wearing ourselves out. Yeah, we couldn't stop for more than 10 seconds in there. I've never seen mosquitoes like that. I probably have, but I just don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you forget about that stuff. Yeah. Oh. Cool. So yeah, so season doesn't open till tomorrow. So uh, I don't know, we might go for a little walk with no packs and no rifles and just do some glassing. Yeah. Maybe we'll see something there's... Head over. Yeah, there's two other guys up here somewhere. It just worked out. We happened to follow them in all, all the way, but I think they went farther up. Good on them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Younger. So, yeah, so hopefully we'll find some goats. Maybe a sheep, who knows, but uh, Al wants to shoot his first goat. Yeah. Goats have been my nemesis Nemesis for a long time. I've, I've been stuck in behind avalanches, cost me $600 <laughs> for a tugboat ferry ride across. Uh, lots, lots of other stuff. So hopefully yeah. this is... I don't know how much longer I'll be able to do this, so I'd like to be here when he shoots his first one. Yeah, it'll be awesome. Yep. Yeah. All right, we got to get water and we're gonna eat dinner. I don't think we haven't really eaten anything today Just a couple snacks a couple snacks. That's it. So we're gonna 
get that done. Well, it's 6.30, and I think we're gonna crawl into bed. <laughs> hey, Rob? Yeah. About enough's enough for a day? Beat. Yeah. Body's sore. Yeah. It's probably hot in there, but. At least we'll be out of the sun, though. We got water. Um, tents all together. Got the silt tarp in between. Down there. I can't really see. And that's our, where we get our water from. So tomorrow for hunting, I think we're gonna head up that ridge and follow it all the way back and glass down the other side. And we'll see how that goes. We glass down this side. I didn't see anything, so. That's the plan for tomorrow. So, we'll see you in the morning. Well, here we are, first morning of hunting. This country's all new to us, so. I'm gonna head over to that ridge over there. Finally found some wind. The mosquitoes are just, when you're sleeping at night, you can hear them buzzing outside your fly trying to get in at you. Our camp is way down, or not way down, but just down there. So we're gonna head over to that ridge and work our way back up and see what we see. Not sure if you can see this, but here's our first animals of the trip. There's five goats there. Uh, I believe you're guessing they're all nannies and kids. Yeah, there's two, two nannies with two kids on the lower two. Total of six there. If there were billies, it'd be accessible. Because if you look, we're gonna head up there. Probably go around over there and see what we can see. Lots of country to cover, and lots of country for us to learn. So, as you can see, the mosquitoes, man, they won't even leave us alone in this wind. It's crazy. I'm not sure if you can see that, but there's another nanny and kid. And they are well protected. So we're just gonna keep going up there. We we'll go all the way around over there too if we like. So I think we've walked 5.8. 8k already and it's only 10 o'clock in the morning so mosquitoes are trying to stay in the wind mosquitoes are still crazy so continue on well it's 11 o'clock we just stopped for lunch had a bagel and some peanut butter a mosquito just landed on my hand we had to actually find wind to get rid of the bugs because they're just relentless. See my wrist there and there. There I got bit. I counted 23 bug bites on my forearm. Or mosquito bites. So right now we're just sitting here having a break. We're gonna head up over there and get water. Then we're gonna head up to the top of over there. See what's on the other side. We'll go from there. You having fun yet? No. <laughs> even besides, the, besides the bugs, horrible. Even sitting here when the wind dies down. Yeah. At least a hundred plus. What is the best? Nice and soft. Nice so. Okay, so a little scenery. That lake down there is where we started from. Today we have already hiked 8.2 kilometers and it is 11 o'clock in the morning. We came from way down there. Nice basin and waterfall down in there. Nice empty one, nothing down there. Okay, 